Hello, Mr. Badger. Hello, Caesar. What say you come over and do a little extra work for me? No, it is too cold there. Well, what if I wrap you up first? Hmm. Okay. Hey, Caesar. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're on Ethereum taking a look at wrapped up Bitcoin. We're trying to figure out ways to take Bitcoin and put it to work on Ethereum. Now the main purpose people want to do this is because Bitcoin kind of sits idle on the Bitcoin network. And when you bring it over to Ethereum, you can use it to make more yield in other ways. So first I'm going to talk about ways to get Bitcoin onto Ethereum because it does it's not compatible. You can't just put it into the Ethereum network. You need to wrap it up. The second thing I'm going to talk about are places where you can provide liquidity with these Bitcoin to try to earn some trading fees. The next places I'm going to talk about are lending it out. And then finally, I'm going to talk about year in finances vault. Now I got about 17 tabs up here to go through. So I'm going to go through them very quickly. This video is not an in depth look at all of the, the protocols. Rather, it's just like a table of contents of things that you should look further at. Now, if there's anything in here that's of difficulty or you think I should make a video that explains that specific protocol and goes in a little deeper, please leave a, a comment below and I will try to make a video as soon as I can. Now, so let's get started on the wrapped Bitcoins. Okay, the most common and most famous is WBTC wrapped Bitcoin. Now, what is this actually? This is a, a network of a whole bunch of just different companies and protocols and all kinds of things that use wrapped Bitcoin and provide the service of wrapped Bitcoin. It's decentralized in the sense that it's all on the blockchain. All these, all these things are out for the public to see. So there are different kinds of, they have this partners list, right? And they have different kinds of partners. They have DAO members. DAO members are people who do some voting about changing the rules and changing things about the actual WBTC. I'm not going to call it a protocol, but let's call it a protocol anyways. Um, the merchants, these are the people who will sell you wrap Bitcoin. The exchanges are the people who you can change your wrap Bitcoin for other things. Um, and then we have another one down here, da, 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 custodian. So custodian, all the current ways to turn Bitcoin into Ethereum based ERC 20 Bitcoin. So to make your Bitcoin work on Ethereum, all of them right now, the ones that I know of, they all require that you give your Bitcoin to someone to hold safely and they will mint up some other coin like WBTC and give you that in back. Okay, so there's a lot of ways to get wrapped Bitcoin. You'd have to go through this list and choose the one you go, go through here and check with check into them, ask some questions about each one and find the one you like the most. Okay, that's if you want to send your wrapped Bitcoin to one of these places and turn it in, sorry, send your Bitcoin and then turn it into wrapped Bitcoin. The second choice we have is the REN protocol or the REN project. The REN project is much more different than that. Again, it's custodial, like you send your Bitcoin to them, they hold on to it securely, and then they issue you a REN BTC. Now, the way that they hold on to it, it's not a single entity, it's not a person or a company, it's not a computer, a single computer or a bunch of computers inside an office. What it is is they take your Bitcoin and they stick it on several computers. They take the whole transaction and they spread it across different computers, different nodes. And then these nodes have pieces of the transaction that can be put back together to see the whole thing. You see here, it says Shamir's secret sharing. If you go through this and read this, it's pretty simple. Um, the secret is divided between multiple shares um, with participants in the secret sharing the scheme needed to majority of the parts to be able to reconstruct the secret. So it's kind of like a, a code. So they have some sort of code that allows them to put it together by the pieces together to get the whole thing. So this is kind of how they they keep it safe. Okay. So this is the REN protocol. 
And if you want to use Ren, it's simple. You just go in here, go to the Ren bridge, it's up and connect your MetaMask wallet so it knows where it's going. Here's a destination. So you go to whatever wallet, like whatever Bitcoin wallet you have, this is where you'll be sending it. You tell it how many Bitcoin you want. So let's say one, one, 11 Bitcoin. I'm super Bitcoin rich. Yeah, right. Anyhow, so you would say, oh, I want to send it this many Bitcoin. You would, you know, gather this, you know, gather this wallet address, right? And use this wallet address to send the Bitcoin to. And then this wallet that you have connected here would receive this at Ren BTC. Okay. The third one I'm going to talk about is something very new. And it's a little bit, it's been building for quite some time, but there's not a lot of utilization and it's very new. So, you know, look at it, watch it, but I don't recommend you actually using it quite yet unless you are a pioneer. And what this is called is AnySwap. It connects to many different blockchains, Ethereum, this is a testnet, Binance Smart Chain, and this Phantom mainnet, okay? So if you go to the Ethereum mainnet here, and you go to bridge. So as you can see, I can send Bitcoin here, how many Bitcoin I want to send, and this is how many any Bitcoin I will get, which is an ERC20 Ethereum token. And this is the address again that you would send your Bitcoin to, and then they would convert it and give you these. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this, and I tried to find if there's any of these, any Bitcoin use cases or even any liquidity like on Uniswap and stuff. I can't find this any Bitcoin anywhere. I asked in their Telegram channel and I didn't get an answer for quite some time. So I kind of just gave up and forgot to go back and look. So, you know, use this this one with, with caution, you know, but it's there to look at and that's the point of it. You can look at it, right? The last way is through synthetics. Now I've talked about synthetics in other videos when I talked about the, the DeFi coins, right? So, but just to give you a quick idea, how the synthetics works is very different. You don't actually send Bitcoin to them. You buy SNX tokens and you use those SNX tokens to mint synthetic BTC. So you mint an ERC20 token that the price is pegged to the actual price of Bitcoin. So you're not actually sending them any Bitcoin at all. You're not actually holding any Bitcoin. You are just hold, you know, you're just betting on the price action by using this. However, there are quite a bit of markets that trade synthetic SBTC for these other two, Ren and Wrapped. So it's a valid BTC option. Okay. The last option here is a uh, HBTC or who oh, I can never pronounce this one. Hyobi. Hyobi is a big exchange like Binance. You can also do this at Binance as well. If you see here, Binance and Hobi, they're big exchanges. You send your money there, you can trade, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So you could send your Bitcoin there and then you can withdraw as an ERC20 token. So it's pretty simple. You can go through Bitcoin and figure it out. Just go to your spot wallet and click withdraw Bitcoin because you put send the Bitcoin there, withdraw and then choose ERC20 option. And then it'll ask you for your MetaMask address and so forth. And you're going to get from Binance, you'll get B, B, T, C. And from Hobi, you will get H, B, T, C. Okay. So these are the options. Now onwards to what can you do if you, now that you have this wrapped up Bitcoin in your wallet, what can you do with it? Right? So the first option is curve. Curve finance is a, you know, it's a market where people trade for arbitrage. They try to find the price difference. You see, REN BTC versus WBTC, there's a small difference in value. Like if I put one here, you see, it's a small difference in value. So people will, you know, bet big amounts of, you know, money here, and they will calculate to see there's a small difference and try to make arbitrage. Now there is a small fee for doing this. I believe it's a 0.04, but they, yeah, yeah, it's right here, 0.04% but they have a huge amount of total volume. And this is just one of the pools. They have SBCT, they have REN BCT, they have HBCT. So if you go to REN, there's just REN versus WBTC. If you go to SBTC, it's the three of them plus SBCBTC. And if you go to H, it's just uh, wrap Bitcoin versus HBTC. So this is an option. What you can do to make money is you can trade these 
and arbitrage them or you can just provide liquidity to these it's pretty safe because you know the prices are not going to change drastically so you're just going to get a piece of these fees this uh, trading fee here which is not too bad now there's some in admin fees so you're gonna have to look closely at it and find out how much you're going to make and what is the yield going to be okay the next one here this is another one like the any swap it's something that's not proven not tested and not very heavily utilized but I found it to be interesting so it's again, it's a it's a competitor to Curve Finance. It's called ACBTC. So what you will do is you will supply either WBTC or you'll supply RenBTC to this pool and people will come to trade it. Now, the thing that makes this one different is their their fee is half the half of that 0.02%. And they claim that they've, you know, it's impermanent loss fixed because they don't have set ratios of of the coins so they don't this coin doesn't end up start buying up that coin and that coin doesn't start end up buying this coin with impermanent loss and so forth now the other thing when you do put your you provide liquidity to this pool you can stake that the liquidity token you get and they will give you this this coin paid in fees right the a a c b t c which is the the coin you get back when you provide liquidity to these so you receive this coin here and then when you when the fees are paid they convert the fees to this coin and give it back to the people who who've staked right now they also give a coin called ac which is coconut or something and it's just like their governance token that is also of value so you get these two tokens based on the the trade volume now the thing that's about this if you look at total locked value it's on the decline now you know bitcoin has been get going into a hodl phase and this is the scary part like the fees are quite lower they're half half of curve and the volume is way lower like this is two bitcoin traded today oh sorry three total and how much was traded on curve like daily volume seven million total locked in you know 300 million and daily volume is seven million worth or you know 381 bitcoin okay so there's a big difference right so you can look at this consider it the other option is to provide liquidity to uniswap now this is they only have wbtc versus eth and yeah, there's a huge chance of liquid uh, impermanent loss because these these prices are very they're correlated in some sense like btc usually goes up first and then eth follows behind but there are times where the prices are very divergent very different so be careful if you're going to use Uniswap to provide liquidity, okay? So you can provide liquidity to these different protocols and make some money off the fees. Now, another option is you can go to a lending platform like Compound, Aave, Cream. Now, these are three that I talked about in this video up here. You can watch that video if you like. Now, basically what you're going to do here is you're just going to stick your WBTC in here let's go to deposit where's WBTC right here you can stick it in here and you'll gain this percentage now people are going why would I want to do that right that's so little it is more than the well, well it's no it's not it's it's so little right but people can then you can then take this value and borrow another token like maybe USDC or die or something you could borrow this and use this to build yield to build gains so you can get gains on you die quite easily out in the market through other products and then you could bring those gains back later and buy more BTC with them and grow your BTC that way same with cream okay you can put it in here and borrow one of these and use these to produce yield okay now the final thing I wanted to talk about is yearn finance you can take your WBTC and you can stick it in where is it here right here now you can see it asks for REN, WBTC, WBTC, SWBTC. That's this pool here, um, this one. So if you provide liquidity to here, you get your liquidity pool token and you come here and you stick it in here. Now, maybe people don't wanna do all these steps so they can go to your, um, go to Zapper and just jump in by, you know, go to Zapper, click invest, type here, yearn, and then go down to where is it here add liquidity and you will see 
Well, they have ETH. You could go from ETH, or there's the WBTC. If you found, if you chose WBTC first, you could go here and use your WBTC to go straight into that year and vault. Okay. Now, oh, there, there, they've loaded. So you're looking at about seven percent a year based on the last week's performance. Um, if you go in here, you can see it's yeah, it's around seven based on the weekly performance, five based on the monthly performance, and then based on all time, it's about 14% a year. These are yearly APYs based on the performance of this time frame. okay? And the same thing is over here. It's relatively, the numbers are quite similar because there's some rounding here and there, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the, the comments below. Like I said, if you want me to look closely at one of these and show you exactly how to use it, Again, leave the comment in the description below or in the sorry, comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been useful. Goodbye. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching it. If you'd like to support the channel, you can subscribe and like the video and all that kind of stuff. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter at Caesar7. And you, if you really, really want to help me, you can purchase one of my NTFs at the Rarible store here. All these links will be in the description below. And finally, if you really, really want to talk to me, you can join my Telegram channel. Link in the description. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.